Hello friends, this video on digestion and absorption part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. And the permanent teeth. So which is the primary teeth and which are the permanent teeth. So let us quickly see that. So when we talk about primary teeth, so they are also known as temporary teeth or deciduous street teeth because they are going to get replaced so after some time those tooth are to be you know, removed and they are replaced by the permanent set of teeth so that is how it happens so this primary teeth generally develops when you are a kid so it starts developing uh, around the age of six months and it is not that all the primary teeth develop together when you are six months old it is not like that so one after another they start to develop but the first teeth to develop are the incisors so incisors are the one which will develop the first then canines and then the molars so when we talk about the primary teeth they are later replaced by permanent teeth somewhere around the age of 8 to 10 years they are total 20 in number you just have only 20 primary teeth no less no more so what are these 20 primary teeth? Which are the types of teeth which are present in the primary set of teeth? Let us have a look. As I said, incisors are the one which will develop the first. So they are the first to develop. So there will be eight incisors. That is, let us suppose this is the upper jaw and this is the lower jaw. So you will have four incisors at the center top and the center bottom. So these are the four incisors. 8 incisors, I'm sorry. Then next develops the canines, that is the 4 canines. So this is one, this is one, this is one, this is one. So these are the 4 canines. Premolars, they are absent in the primary teeth, as I mentioned before also. So molars, total how many molars? There are 8 molars, 2 on each side. So molar, 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 again molar, molar. Again here molar molar. So these molars are known as the primary molars. So how many total number of molars do we have in the primary set of teeth? Total 8 molars are there and these molars are known as primary molars. So because these molars are going to get replaced when the kid is going to turn some 8 to 10 years old. So this is the primary set of teeth which is also known as the milk teeth. Why is it called milk teeth? Because since it develops in babies and babies are like uh, they drink a lot of milk and also they, this is also known as milk teeth. So primary teeth, please be very clear that in primary teeth set you do not have premolars. Only incisors, canine and molars and all of these get replaced when the person is around 8 to 10 years old. Now when it gets replaced, what happens? how it gets replaced and how do uh, the premolars pitch into it. So now the permanent teeth, once it comes, it never gets replaced. So if one of your tooth gets broken, it is not going to get replaced. You are always going to, you will have to live without that. That is how it is, right? So the permanent set of teeth needs to be taken good care of because if you do not take good care, you might lose your teeth early and that might cause problems. Okay, so that is your permanent teeth. They are total 32 in number. So you have 12 extra teeth here in your permanent set or 12 more teeth in the permanent set than the primary set. So let us see what, where, from where do you get those extra 12. So here also you have 8 incisors. So these incisors get replaced by this incisors. It is something like this. You again have 4 canines. So let us draw it, it will make things easier. So this is your upper jaw, this is your lower jaw. So again you have four incisors, stop four incisors at the bottom. So total eight, you have four canines, one, two, three and four. So four canines. Now you will have premolars and how many premolars you have? You have eight premolars. Now what will happen is, Earlier, the position which was taken up by the primary molars, the same position will be taken up by the premolars now. So let me denote premolars by this symbol. So here you have the premolars. 
So can you see the difference? Earlier the same position was taken up by the primary molars. So now when the primary permanent teeth starts to come up, the primary molars get replaced by the premolars. So these are the premolars. And what about molars? How many molars do we have? We have 12 molars because as I told you there are three types of molars. First molars, second molars and third molars. So there are four first molars, four second molars and four third molars. And these third molars are nothing but the wisdom teeth. So they come quite late, late and they might not even come also. So when you talk about molars, so this is your first molar. This is your second molar and this is your third molar which is doubtful whether it will come or not. So the third molar or the wisdom tooth is doubtful whether it will be there or not we don't know. Right? So this is your complete permanent set of teeth. Clear? So I hope it is clear what are the different types of teeth present inside our mouth and how what is their purpose. So these teeth in the front they are only used for biting. They cannot grind food into simpler form. The next set that is the canines, they help in tearing the food because they are very sharp. The next set is premolar and molars. Premolars and molars comparatively, they are large sized and they also have a flat surface at the bottom. So that is why they, they are good for grinding food into simpler forms. So the molars and premolars are the grinding teeth. So I, I hope that you would have understood the concept of teeth, the types of teeth present inside, when do you develop which type of teeth. Okay, so let us now talk about another important thing called dental formula. So there is something called a dental formula all. So what is this dental formula all about? What do we want to calculate out of this formula? Now, this formula is not to calculate anything. This formula just tells you how the teeth are arranged in that particular organism. So, right now we are talking about human beings. So, let us see the arrangement of teeth in each half of upper and lower jaw. So, when you talk about each jaw, this is your upper jaw, this is your lower jaw. So if you see, if you divide it from between, this is the right half of upper jaw, this is the left half of upper jaw, this is right half of lower jaw and this is left half of lower jaw, right? This is right half of upper, right half of lower, left half of upper and left half of lower. Correct? So for example, if I say that there are four canines, there is one canine in RU, one canine in RL, one canine in LL, one canine in LU. Correct? So it is all symmetrical. So the way the teeth are arranged on the right upper half, in a similar way they are arranged in the left upper half, in the right lower half, in the left lower half. Correct? So this dental formula is a representation of the arrangement of teeth in each half of upper and lower jaw. So we will basically use a formula to tell how the teeth are arranged in one half of the upper jaw divided by how the teeth are arranged in one half of the lower jaw. Right? So just one half, not the entire upper jaw. Just one half of upper jaw by one half of lower jaw. So let us see how do we calculate the dental formula for primary teeth in human beings. Okay, so for primary teeth, how many total primary teeth do we have? We have 20 total primary teeth, right? So how many incisors do we have? We have total 8 incisors. How many canines? We have total 4 canines and how many molars? We have 8 molars and there is no premolar, right? So this is the total number of incisors. Now the question is how many incisors do you have on each jaw, each half? So if there are total 8 incisors, you have 4 incisors upper half, 4 incisors in the lower half. So out of this 4, 2 are on the left upper side and 2 are on the right upper side, correct? So you actually have 2 incisors in each half of each jaw, 
you getting my point right so basically you have to divide it by 4 because the way it is it is all divided symmetrically so how many canines do you have in each half of each jaw in each half that is one half is this portion of each jaw so you just have one canine so you have one canine in each half of each jaw again if you talk about molar so total you have eight so you have two 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 so each half each jaw you have two so the dental formula for primary teeth is equal to two one two this is for the upper jaw because you have two incisors, then one canine and then two incisors. I'm just talking about each half. Please remember each half in the upper jaw. So this is two, one, two. Again in the lower jaw, each half of lower jaw also has the same arrangement that is two, one, two. So the dental formula for primary teeth is two, one, two by two, one, two. So instead of writing how many uh, incisors you have, how many canines you have, and how are they arranged? You just write it 212 by 212. So somebody who knows the concept of dental formula would know that, okay, 212 means that it has two incisors, one canines and two molars on one half of the upper jaw. Again, it has two incisors, one canine and two molars on one half of the lower jaw. Denom numerator represents upper jaw and denominator represents the lower jaw. Right? So this is dental formula. Similarly, let us try to do it for permanent teeth. So total permanent teeth is 32. So how many incisors we have? 8. Canines we have 4. Premolars we have 8. And molars we have 12. Right? So these are the total number of teeth. So how many incisors we have in each half? We have two in each half of each jaw. Right? Again this we have canine, we have one in each half of each jaw. For premolars we again have two in each half of each jaw and for molars we have three because three molars this side three this side three this side and three this side that makes 12 so you have three in each half of each jaw so what would be the dental formula so dental formula first we'll talk about the upper jaw in upper jaw in each side so how many you have in scissors you have two one two three upper jaw divided by two one two three lower jaw so this is the dental formula for permanent teeth and likewise we can calculate the dental formula for different animals or different mammals so that means it helps to determine the arrangement of teeth in different animals I mean this is a this is like a shortcut representation of the arrangement of teeth in the different jaws in different animals so that is all about dental formula so with this I think we have discussed most of the things related to teeth how teeth helps in digestion thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.